I can honestly say I am like permanently on fleek now. Eyebrows like, on fleek. My eyebrows are just there and in shape. Brianna Carlin. Y'all, I finally got my eyebrows microbladed. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here, I am going to talk about microblading. So a week and a couple of days ago, I just got my eyebrows microbladed. I got the first session. Um, this is a week and two days after the fact. Like, you know, it does what it does. It fades, you have to go back for another session so they can redo it and it'll take a little better. So it's a process. But here is how my eyebrows are looking right now. I really like this one. I don't know what's going on with this one, but it's funny because when I do my makeup, this is always my problem brow anyway. So I just feel like my right eyebrow is just gonna give me trouble no matter what. And so I am currently on here, no makeup. It's just the eyebrows and some lashes. You know, I feel like eyebrows just give your face a glow when they're done, so. So in this particular video, I am not going to show the day by day how my eyebrows did. That's gonna be in the next video. I am just here right now to explain exactly what microblading is. Normally when you mention microblading, people typically think, oh, you're getting your eyebrows tattooed. And it's like, although they're permanent or whatever you want to call it, they're semi-permanent. And microblading uses a tool that has like tiny needles on it. That blade is dipped in whatever selected pigment you and um, the person who's doing your eyebrows discuss. And then they put little fine strokes, little cuts in your eyebrows that mimic actual hair. And they keep going and they shade it in, fill it in. I will insert a picture how they first looked. But these eyebrows are not the same as the ones we used to see back in the day or the ones we still see people with that is like, why would you even get that? It's different because first off, the pigment has iron oxide in it and that is popular and found in most of our makeup, which gives it the ability to fade over time. So as dark as it shows when you first get your eyebrows done, it is not going to be the same. It's going to fade. And that's why you determine how dark you want to go. Because sometimes you can have one that looks totally natural when it's on there the first time. But then when it fades out, it looks a little like you didn't have anything done. Secondly, it is different because the pigment isn't just like deeply implanted in the skin like a tattoo would be. Also, why it will fade off. In a couple of years versus just being totally permanent not going anywhere and both of those things that makes it so different nowadays is what make the eyebrow look natural so you get this look but i can't even tell you this is the look because i have to go back for my second session so it might look a little better than this probably uh i'm going to be a little darker because i'm going to tell them to take it up a pigment because i like my eyebrows dark and these are just you know a little faded the benefits of having your eyebrows microbladed i can tell you right now you can get up and you can be on fleek already you don't have to go in there and draw your eyebrows on you don't have to you know you just already have that look of like you're semi done up and don't you go get individual lashes like you're gonna be good to go as soon as you wake up 24 7. and then another thing depending on your skin type and how you take care of your eyebrows and like if you're outside in the sun and stuff like that these can last from one to three years you know what i mean like i know where i'm going i see people go every six months to get a touch up and if you don't want to do that you don't have to do that but when i found some information online it was saying that you should at least get a touch up 12 to 18 months but like i said the place where i'm going i see there are people come in every six months and she said that she will not touch your eyebrows if they don't look like they need any retouching so that's cool. They're not just all about a dollar. Let me tell you, when I was online and I read some of the requirements on like what to do before you get your eyebrows done, the list seemed like it was so long. Like some of them I understood and then like, really? Does it really matter? But I mean, I had a pretty fair day up until getting my eyebrows done. So I didn't really have anything to worry about. It was stuff like don't drink alcohol, don't drink caffeine for 24 hours before your appointment. Stop taking any pills or vitamins that thin and out your blood. That's understandable. That's what any tattoo. Don't sweat or work out. Don't sweat profusely and heavily the day of your appointment. 
do not go tanning or have sunburns in your eyebrow area. Tanning ain't my thing. So I didn't have to worry about that. Another one I totally understood, it was like the no retinols, the acids and all of those strong exfoliant washes and stuff like that. Not to use those a couple of days before your appointment. You don't want your skin to be like super sensitive and stuff like that. And then also if you use those type of items, it'll cause the pigment to fade a lot sooner than it's supposed to. Another one, no chemical peels at least 60 days before your appointment which that is another one that's that's i understand because well a chemical pill and then you want to go get needles put on your face come on now and lastly what i read they also said like no botox for three weeks prior to your appointment majority if not all of these things did not apply to me so i was good to go i also found the list that stated that microblading is not recommended for certain people who fit whatever description if you're prone to scarring or keloids if you've had botox within three weeks if you are undergoing chemo and if you have any other skin irritations such as like acne eczema psoriasis sunburn it also isn't recommended for someone who's been using accutane in the past year because you know that makes your skin really sensitive um there's actually a longer list of the things that would make you like a little sketchy if you should get your eyebrows microbladed but i just condensed the list down to the stuff that i'm really familiar with but you can find a long list it's like if you have um you know any viral diseases and stuff like that it goes into details of you know why you shouldn't get this procedure So I want to say thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more uh, videos being posted and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.